Hi, I'm Jeff Goodman and welcome to scubaverse.com. Today I'm looking at the SeaTouch 4 Max underwater housing for your smartphone by Divolk. First thing to say, I think, is that I love my iPhone. It's quite an old one, it's an SE 2020, but it does exactly what I want. And for me at the moment, I, I'm staying with this rather than upgrading to the more modern phones. But one of the features of this uh, is, or one of the nicer features of this is of course, the camera. Being able to take photos and um, video with such amazing quality, it's great. So to be able to take it underwater, is an absolute bonus. And the SeaTouch 4 Max housing allows you to do just that. But what is slightly different about this one is that the camera fits in, but it has a touch screen. So through this gel screen at the back, you can actually finger touch and swipe all the controls on your iPhone or whatever phone you're putting in it. And by the way, the phone comes with a load of holders to hold your phone into place. And it covers quite a lot of makes of phones. If you have a phone that you wanna put in it and there isn't a holder for it, just get hold of Divolk and they will get one 3D printed for you, fantastic. And then putting the phone into the cradle, sometimes it's just a little bit loose, but they give you little foam inserts so you can just snap your phone into place and it's nice and secure. So coming back to the housing, the touch screen. It's, it, it's a gel filled, uh, there's like two layers and then gel in between. So it's quite soft to touch, it's quite jelly-like. But it does give you accurate touch abilities to the touch screen on your phone. Opening it up and the entry to this is via the end here. And that's quite nice as well, because that's a very small port, uh, so it's going to be less, le uh, less liable to leaking. The O-ring, uh, and <laughs> I can't really call it an O-ring, I've got a spare one here. It's a flat rubber seal. And that basically fits into its slot and then pushes down and screws into place. Very secure. Taking the phone out, or the phone holder out, what we have in here at the moment is a blank. Now it's very important that you keep this blank and keep it in the housing when you haven't got the phone in. And basically what that does is it protects the gel screen from being pushed in too far and getting broken. So it gives it something to rest against for when you're traveling and things like that. So pop it out and then my iPhone, let's get this in here the right way up, there we go, simply fits in, turn it on, I've got phone to shake, there we go, and on with the camera. Seal it up nice and tight. Just to say, um, they do recommend that you take off screen protectors when you put the phone in. I haven't, and I find it still works very well. The one issue I do have is that I can't access the home button on the phone with or without the screen protector. But that's not a problem. Um, if you use the accessibility mode, then you can bypass the home uh, button and you can just swipe and access the camera controls as you need to. I'll just pop that out again. 
Let's undo it here. There we go. Oh, and one thing to say, um, when you take it out, it's just a little thing, but take it out with a phone facing upwards, just so that it doesn't fall out onto the floor when, when you actually remove it from the, uh, from the housing. So putting, actually I'll put it back in for now. Screw it up again. There we go. Lots of extras with this camera as well. Oh, by the way, it's uh, good down to 60 meters, which is, you know, it's, it's as much as I'm ever going to need. But what it does do is um, it facilitates a base plate with handles, lights, and also this filter holder. Now, if I just, I'm going to put it on the table there. Connect these bits up. Screw that in. And what we have now is an adjustable filter holder that you can either move away or put over your lens. And with this are color correction filters, uh, orange, red, um, magenta, whatever you like to put in it. Uh, and also at the moment I have a plus eight close-up filter. It's a 67 mil thread and that just simply nicely fits over the lens area and then when I don't want it just slide it away and lock it into place. I'll just take that out for the moment, put it back over there. Made of plastic and aluminium and that makes it very sturdy, it's going to last you a long time, but because a lot of it is plastic, you can also use Bluetooth. So if you've got Bluetooth charging for your phone, you can use that. <clears throat> also, you can link it to something like your DLSR and use it as a monitor on top of your camera, which is fantastic. And the other thing is, it is still a phone. So you get to the surface, you have an emergency, you can use it as a phone and call for help. It's great, it's just everything in one package. It comes with a small lanyard to fit around your wrist or on your BCD. And also, actually let me just put that there for the moment, a nice protective cover, a neoprene cover. So that just basically slides in there and then that's going to protect it and the screen. Although the screen at the back does have an additional cover as well, which you should try and keep hold of, not actually throw it away. And that sits there. Really important to try and keep that touch screen as clean and scratch free as possible. Brilliant thing again is that you can access all the apps within your phone, whatever you have. Put that there again. And of course you can use it on land in pouring rain as well. So the C-Touch 4 Max from Divolk.